him. Get out! I'm going nowhere without my baby. Get out with it! Oh, you don't seriously think I let that freak anywhere near me, did you? Get out! Spiteful. Not in a Evil million years. Evil little cow. What if he was the last man on earth? We, we slept together. Oh, you passed out of my bed. Big difference, pal. You are a liar! <laughs> <laughs> My wedding! Is it true? Tell the bride the truth, Steve. I'm sorry. No. Karen! Karen! Let's go. Karen. Oi, oi, you happy now, are you? I won't be happy till I get my baby back. Can you, can you all sit down, They've please? They've got my baby! Patrick, can you take us on, please, now? I'm waiting for someone. For the emergency. The cops running. Look, we've got to get out of here. I'm sure your customer will understand. Who is it? Tracy Barlow. Get in. Hey, yeah, hang on. Tracy's changed her mind. She's decided to stay. Karen, let me in. But they are kidnapping my baby! Hang on. If what she's saying is true... No, it's not true. And even if it was, it's a bit late to be getting all maternal now. Shut up! Tracy, stop it. Karen, Calm down. You're showing yourself up. Just let the croppers go. Get some kind of kick out of doing things like this. Let them go. You've changed your tune, haven't you? And you can stop it all! Stop In the name of God, up. stop this now! If you don't all calm down, I shall call the police. I'm warning you! <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Sit! <laughs> It won't go in. I can't get it in. It's all twisted. Give it here. She's coming. Drive off, Patrick. The car seat's not secure. I'll do it. Just drive off. Are you sure she wants to stay? Oh, please, just get us out of here. Please, just drive now. <laughs> One night, <laughs> while we were apart. <laughs> Just let me in. I'll tell you about it, please. <laughs> I am so, so sorry. about it for most of my life. Everyone who ever meant anything to me is sat in the same room at the same time, sat where I've decided they're going to sit. They're eating the food that I want them to eat. They're listening to music that I've chose. And just for one seat, there's been no expense spared. Because I wanted to be special. Just for one day. Not the girl at the back of the class. Or some face in a crowd or a number on a clocking card. I wanted to be this of attention. All eyes on me. Everyone looking at me. Me looking better than I ever looked in my life. Or I'm ever, ever going to look again. And at that moment, at that precise moment, you've chosen to make a laughing stuck all over me. I'm sorry. Go away. Look, I didn't choose for this to happen. She's ruined my day as well as yours. Go away! Look, I'm sorry to interrupt, mate. I really am. What do you want? Well, I've, I've sent all the guests back to the reception room, all right? All right, whatever. This is going to take a few minutes. No, Steve. 
It'll take more than a few minutes to talk your way out of this one. Well, just so as you know, the, uh, the vicar's got another wedding at four, yeah? Well, then he's going to be very early, isn't he? I won't miss this for the world. <laughs> Shut up. You've got to feel sorry for him. Yeah, well, anyone who gets involved with Tracy Barl has only got themselves to blame. You should know. Cheers, Eileen. Why should you know? You're not telling me you and that girl. Yeah, briefly, babe. It was one of my bigger mistakes. Well, why didn't you tell me? Uh, well, you've seen it. It's not something you blag about. Is it free? It certainly is. Oh, well, we'll have a couple of large ones, then. Oh, cheers. <laughs> and a lager for me. Hey, do you think what Tracy said were true? I don't know. Do you, do you think if the wedding gets cancelled, it won't be a free bar? I don't know. Make it two, mate. Do you think Steve really is the father of that mad woman's baby? Oh. Excuse me, that's my daughter you're talking about. Mm, it makes more sense than Roy. Oh, well, we can ask her ourselves now. 40 minutes the taxi's going to be, can you believe that? <laughs> what you said in there, is it true? Am I really a grandmother? I'm afraid so, yes. I think you should leave, Tracy. Yeah, well, I would if I could. But the croppers have taken my taxi as well as my baby. Dad, have you got the car? No. Oi! You. Get out! Oh, shut up, Janice! You're not welcome here! You're a gate crash, you love! Out! No, well, I'm going! Hang on! You've got some explaining to do, lady! Not that way. Look, Liz! Oh, Liz! Oh, 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 oh. I know she's no angel. Oh, you can say that again. But I sure Steve's no better. She's just ruined my son's wedding! Well, by all accounts, you were against it anyway. She handed her baby to somebody else. Well, if your Steve had stood by her like he should have done... Deirdre, there's been enough... Like any decent man would have. And maybe she wouldn't have handed her baby over in the first place. It's not like I've cheated on you. You dumped me. You'd left me. I was gutted, Karen. I didn't think I'd ever see you again, and then there was Tracy. Oh, Tracy's had a thing for me ever since we were in school together. As you know. But I've never been interested. But after you'd gone, after you'd left me, I thought, well, why not? And I said, look. Oh. Listen! You haven't to... done anything wrong! Look, I wish I hadn't slept with her. I wish I'd have used something. I didn't enjoy it. I was thinking of you the whole time. It wasn't me that you got pregnant. It was you that I wanted. I've only ever wanted you. But you left me. You'd gone for good as far as I knew. Then the next day, I find out you hadn't left with Carter at all. It... He'd grasped him up to Baldwin. And then Tracy was history. After one night, Tracy was history. And then I came looking for you, remember? I searched high and low for you. It didn't matter to me what had happened. I just wanted you back. I found you. I paid off your debts. Why did you give her a job? If she was history, why would you give her a job? What matters is we've got... It's a woman that has fancied you since being at school that you've admitted sleeping with. Why would you give her a job? We needed a woman... Because Dev didn't want it. Well, that's precisely... Hey, Tracy Barlow here. Any chance of a job? Dev, no! Steve McDonald, yeah! Come in, Tracy, and you're telling me that there's nothing going on? Well, I did it to wind Dev up! No! You were looking after your tart! You're pregnant, Tart! Oh, she is not my Tart! And if I'd known she was pregnant, I wouldn't have taken her on in the first... Liar! Look, I didn't find out till Christmas. Christmas Day, I swear! Well, by then, she'd already told everybody it was Cropper's baby. It was too late to do anything about it. Would this be Christmas Day yesterday? Would it? The Chinese Christmas Day? Ah, oh, Christmas Day. Christmas Day nearly two months ago when I caught you talking in the taxi office. Is that what you were talking about, was well, it? I know I should have told you. Yes, Steve, because I would have liked to have known before I walked down the aisle. 
<laughs> well, you know what? Fair enough, you're a busy man, and let's face it. By the way, I got some tart pregnant. It's a lot to squeeze into nearly eight weeks. Look, it seemed the best thing to do at the time. Didn't you sack her after Christmas once you knew? I couldn't just sack her. No, her. you wanted to look after her. No! Yes, you did! There's nothing to it. Please, I've just been a fool. I've just been a stupid fool. Karen! There is nothing going on between me and Tracy Barlow. Will you go away? It's Tracy. Get lost, Tracy. No, why don't you hang on a minute? Hey, why don't you come in? So come on. What have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> Are you, are you all right? <laughs> I just want you both to know what happened before. I didn't come here today to do that. Uh, yeah, right. I didn't. You just couldn't stand to see me, Karen, happy, could you? I came to get my baby back. You scum, Barlow. Everybody knows it. That's why you haven't got a single friend in the world. I'm so sorry that you're hurt, Steve. I'm sorry the way it came out anyway. Is that it? Yeah, just wait for my taxi, then I'll be out your hair. Looks nice, by the way. Look nice. Right, I'll be in touch with the arrangements. What arrangements? For the baby, when I get her back. I'm so sorry, Karen. Not sorry. Yes, I am. You've never felt sorry for anybody in your life. Well, I feel sorry for you. You're a vicious, evil, vindictive cow. And you don't care about anybody but yourself. Karen! Don't try and defend us, Steve. Because I've got one of these for each of you. You touch me with that, Karen. And I'll be suing you with criminal injury. As well as getting child support out of him. Dead people can't sue Tracy. Karen, don't make it worse. How can they be anyway? Because she means it. When it comes to screwing money out of people, she does it very well. Oh, as opposed to just screwing people. Ah! Karen, I didn't come here to hurt you. No, you just came to hurt Roy and Hayley. No. I came to get my baby back, but he wouldn't let me. Was well, it any wonder? Then he started having a go at me. You're not dealing with Haley now. You're dealing with a girl who grew up knowing how to use her heels. And I want the truth. I want to know exactly what went on between the two of you. Well, you'd be lucky if you get the truth out of this one. The truth is, Karen, you've had a narrow escape. At least you know what sort of man he is. Really? What sort of man's that? He's a scumbag. You fancied him since you were at school, got yourself pregnant by him. It was an accident. You've been sniffing round him for months, got yourself a job with him, so you like scumbags, do you? Well, it took me a while to get the measure of it. How long have you been seeing each other? I don't know, we were friends for a while. One night it was. One night and one morning, actually. It was enough to get me pregnant. No, Karen, when he found out, he wanted me to get rid of it. That is a lie. Well, I just didn't know what to do. In the end, I let him persuade me. It had gone well past that stage before I knew anything about Who's it. Who's telling the story? Yeah, and that's all it is, a story. You know, I was all set to have an abortion, Karen. And then for some weird reason, Roy thought the baby was his. Yeah, because she told him it was. The next thing I know, Haley's left him. He's tried to kill himself. Well, I couldn't go through with it then, could I, Karen? Be like having two deaths on my conscience. C conscience? Don't make me laugh. The croppers, they can't have kids. Well, there's me not wanting one, but I can't go through with the abortion. It seemed like the simplest solution. She did this for money. She sold her baby for money. Yeah, well, they did offer me money, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and she took it. You made me take it! 
After the baby was born, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go through with it. But my head was in bits, Karen. I've got Roy throwing money at me and he's forcing me to take it. I didn't force you to do anything. You came to see us in the hospital, didn't you? Admit it. Hours after the baby was born, he came to see us. You asked me to come? I told him that I didn't think I could go through with it. We talked about telling you about coming clean. But in the end, he told me to give the baby to him. Deny it. You can't, can you? I wish I hadn't listened to him, Karen, but... I was scared of him. Oh, God, she's twisting everything here now, Karen. I have regretted it ever since. She did it for money. In the end, I just flipped. I couldn't stand being away from my daughter for one moment longer. So I came here to stand up to him and claim what is rightfully mine. But him and his brother, they tried to stop me. So I lost my temper. And you got hurt. And I am really sorry about that, Karen. But you know, at least you know what sort of man he is before it's too late. Can I go now? Look, she's just trying to split us up. Shut big. up, Steve. Tracy. Just so that I can get this straight in my head. He tried to make you have an abortion. He made you pretend it was right. And then he made you give away your baby. He put a lot of pressure on me, yeah. I was stuck between him and the croppers. In the end, I lost sight of what I really wanted. Right. It's just, uh, now that I come to think about it, I mean, whenever I saw you two together at work or in the pub, you were all over him, floating your eyelashes, laughing at his jokes. I mean, did he make you do that as well? You can believe what you want, Karen. I will. But if you marry him, you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. You don't believe it, do you? I don't know what to believe, Steve. But perhaps she just wanted to ruin the wedding. Perhaps it was Steve and Karen she really wanted to hurt. Why would she want to do that? I don't know. S suppose she's in love with Steve. She won't want him to get married. So she invents a pack of lies to stop the wedding and to get patients back at the same time. Well, that's a theory. We know she's a liar. We know she can't be trusted. Why didn't Steve deny it? I don't know. We could always run away. Mm. Like we did with Wayne. OK, that turned out. What are we going to do? I don't know. It's ruined our wedding. Made us miserable. Destroyed the croppers. Can you imagine what the croppers are feeling right now? I don't care what they're going through. Well, surely you can see why I thought it was best that I kept it a secret from everyone. You're going to stand by and watch while the croppers brought up your daughter? I mean, could you have done that? I don't know. For all the palaver we had to go through, getting divorced, not getting divorced, then getting divorced so we could do this, I, I just wanted us to be married, Karen. I just wanted to marry you. Before I had to think about anything else. And have you ever had feelings for Tracy? <gasps> oh, yeah. Hatred. Well, there's a thin line between love and hate, isn't there, Steve? I love you. We belong together. I mean, they could lock us in a completely empty room and you'd have us arguing about who sat where. But you made me laugh. You keep me on my toes, you know. Turn me on something wicked. I'd never get bored. All I need is you, Karen. All I've ever wanted is you. 
I've been out with other women before, but compared to you, they're boring. <laughs> it's like comparing this diamond to a chip of concrete. <laughs> yeah. You're harder, you're sharper, you sparkle. <laughs> You've got lots of sides, you... It cost me a fortune. Are you beautiful? And I love you. Look, I know I've messed up and... I know the day's been ruined. But let's not let that scheming little cow get her own way. Look, it's not too late. We've still got the venue, we've still got the vicar. Everyone's still here. So, Karen, I'm asking you. Will you marry me? Now. <laughs> <laughs>